Nvidia are releasing more graphics cards with a 12 volt high power cable than we can shake a stick at. And in order to get rid of that fugly cable that comes included, you're gonna need an ATX3 compliant power supply. Now they've generally been quite expensive. I looked at a couple on the channel already, touching 180, 190 pounds. But Thermaltake are the first to market a bronze power supply with the ATX3 certification. This is the Smart BM3 semi-modular power supply, slightly less efficient than you'll see on a gold or a platinum, about 85%, but you do save yourself a considerable amount of money, especially if you're not going to need such a high-end PSU. This is available in three different models. You've got a 650, 750, and an 850. In terms of cables, you've got the same across the board, minus the SATA. The 650, you've got three, and then the 750 and 850, you've got six. Some other notable features, this has got a single high amperage 12 volt rail. So if you were to even do a budget build, maybe you want to go for a 13600K, you can even push that a little bit more with the overclock and you'll get some nice stability from that single rail over a power supply that has two. Another couple of nice touches, like you've got a zero RPM fan mode, so less than 20% load, the fan won't spin up. Five year warranty on there as well. Currently online for about 95 pounds, so certainly half the price of other power supplies that I've looked at. So in terms of price to performance, this is gonna be a good one. So we've got some instructions, uh, product warranty in there as well. This looks like a big old fold out guide. Yep, that lists all your different cables through the different models. But of course, I'll run you through them anyway. On the left hand side, we've got our power cable. We've got an EU one in here, but it will be region dependent. You'll get the right one where you are. And there's a couple of zip ties in there as well. And our screws, the power supply cables are already connected, being that it's a semi modular. Then we've got a nice little bag with some additional ones. Silica gel, don't eat that. So, a very compact unit for an ATX compliant. This is 150 mil wide by 140 long. Let's have a look at our pre installed cables. There's a 24 pin, there's no breakout cable on this, which we do like to see. Like, like I said before in previous videos, if you're using one that needs just 20, then I think you really need to upgrade by now. And we've got a eight pin there for your EPS. There's also a four plus four you can break out if you've got a board like the lower power Intel boards generally use an eight and then a four. Those are flat ribbon cables, whereas the other ones are braided. So a little bit of contrast there, but is more affordable. So you've got to take that into consideration. Let's have a look at our connectors here. So we've got a PCIe. I'll show you all the cables you can do in a minute, but you have got four PCIe connections. Prefer on SATA above that, and then you've got your 12 volt high power cable. So Thermaltake say you can do 300 watts on that connector. So going by the Nvidia spec, that's going to be a 4070 Ti. So you can power some pretty high end cards from this one. Personally, I would use a higher end of the three and wattages if you're going to do that though. Then going to the other end of the power supply, we've got the zero RPM fan mode. So like I said, if it's less than 20% load, the fans won't spin. There's also a little sticker there to tell you before you plug it in that the fan won't operate at lower load. So, you know, don't freak out if you don't see it spinning. 120 millimeter fluid dynamic bearing underneath there. We've got a little bit of plastic over the logo, but I'll leave that on um, for if we use it in a build. Each side we've got just some branding, Smart BM3 750, but it's also gonna be the right way up if you put it fan side up as well. So whatever side you've got it in your case, you will see the logo the right way. It's a little bit of a pet peeve of mine when I see a power supply that's got an upside down sticker where you see the spec of the power supply on there instead. So good job Thermal Take for making sure it's gonna be the right way up, no matter which way you put it in. Cable wise, let's have a look in our little bag. So we've got all the cables out now, left to right. Let's look at the 12 volt high power cable to begin with. There was 300 watts warning on there. Braiding is very nice and tight. It seems to be the same as the other one. Maybe slightly more shiny, but it will match very nicely. Seems to be about a 50 centimeter cable, but generally we'll go from the power supply and up and round, so we won't need too long of a cable anyway. Next up, we've got some PCIe cables. So like I said, you can do four six plus twos. Then these go to the power supply end with a little C connector on there, so you know which way to get them round. So graphics card wise on this power supply, you can do a maximum of four six plus two PCIe, or then your 12 watt high power. Next up, we've got a SATA cable. So both of these have got three, so you've got a maximum of six for this power supply. Like I said, the 650 watt will only have one of these, so maximum of three SATAs on that one. Then last but not least, we've got Molex. One's got three and then one's got four, so you've got a maximum of seven throughout the different models of power supplies. Very pleasantly surprised by the Smart BM3. I think you've got a lot of power supply for your money there. The graphics card options, of course, six plus twos, eight pins, 12 watt high power cable for your late 30 series and the 40 series cards. And also loads of SATA and Molex if you want to add any extra hard drives, fan controllers, RGB hubs, and things like that as well. So I am impressed. Let me know what you think about it in the comments box below. What should we do with this? I think we'll make a little budget build at some point. Let me know what parts we should use in it as well. So that's all for this one. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll leave the links in the description box below if you want to pick one up. Thank you to Thermal Tech for sending this out for me to look at, and I'll see you all in the next one.